Hello, I'm Jonas Sweden and welcome to this Let's Play of RimWorld. RimWorld is an indie game that's be, that was that has been kickstarted and is currently in Alpha 9. It's a management game and I really do like management games. It's somewhat of a sci-fi dwarf fortress, if you know of that game. So what we're going to do today is in this LP is that we are uh, going to start a colony in uh, in a boreal forest, and uh, we are sh this here is uh, choosing the difficulty as well as uh, determining what kind of game uh, that we want. We want kind of a classic game with a increasing curve of challenge. Uh, this is a base builder uh, storyteller, and this is a completely random uh, storyteller. But we're gonna do. We're gonna go with the vanilla setup, so to speak. I am using a few mods, uh, low, uh, which I will demonstrate uh, later. Or perhaps I can show them off right now, just quickly. See here, this is a mod order uh, mod that sh that adds that adds this interface, and then we have another interface mod from the same author, as well as uh, prepare carefully. Uh, a, a prepared start, basically, uh, from the same order, as well as uh, a mod that affects heating, a practice target, some expanding prosthetics and organ engineering, as well as a mod that uh, gives increased options for defending. So yeah, that's in short. Now we're going to start. Uh, here we have, again, Cassandra Classic. We're going to get a 100% challenge, so to speak and hope we don't get steamrolled. I've mostly been playing on the level below. Uh, rough challenge, which is a 60% uh, challenge compared to this 100%. Uh, here we have this generated world. Uh, I regenerated from a, s a seed of my uh, first name. So you can if you want to try this out this world for yourself, it is very easy just to uh, go into the world generator and type Jonas. So I've actually scouted out a location for uh, our colony uh, beforehand, as well as preparing a setup. Uh, and I was thinking we would be starting, yes, here. So you see here uh, some basic facts about this biome. It's an boreal forest with large hills, which means that there's going to be some areas and uh, minerals that we can mine out and use for cover as well as uh, resources. But also a lot of lot of trees. There's a growing period between May and August, so it's the only time that we can grow crops outdoors, which is also what we are going to be doing. We're going to really just grow as, lot as, grow as much food as we can during the growing period. And uh, I'm going to change so we actually get some time to prepare for the growing period as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to just grow a lot of food in the growing period and hope it lasts over winter. So yeah, it, it's going to be fun. Uh, yes, everything is in order here, yep. April, it's large, and yeah. Just like this side, I'm gonna pre This is the vanilla. Uh, you just get random... random colonists with random traits, uh, random skills, and random backgrounds, and names, etc, etc, and ages. This is uh, biological age, and this is chronological age, because you can have kind of a crypto sleep. But we're going to prepare carefully and load a preset. Here we have our three colonists uh, I've created before, and uh, do with this point by system, uh, kind of specialized. Uh, going to cover up most of um, our, our bases, uh, so to speak, most of the skills that we need, uh, and uh, also we have a. Uh, this is my friend's character. He sp specifically asked to be included, and I'm thinking as well that if you would like to be in the game, 
you only need to ask and I will make a list and add people as we get people to join our and add you as we get people who join our colony um, and here we have as you can see the inventory that we're going to start with also uh, I have modified it a bit uh, from the vanilla uh, but yeah we're gonna see how this goes you're probably fine you know So while waiting for this to generate, I've been playing this since it was Alpha 4, I believe. Alpha 4, which was the first it was released to the public for, for open beta test, so to speak. Or Alpha. So some background, this is how the story starts. Uh, this is basically it. Uh, but you also get a goal to actually build a spaceship and escape. Turn down the volume just a little bit. There we go. Or? Yeah. This should be alright. Nah, maybe this a little bit louder. It was just a big noise in the beginning. I was like, I'm like oh, this is too loud. But I guess this is alright. You can just tell me if you want to change the volume later. So, here we have our intrepid uh, uh, colonists. Our involuntary, involuntary colonists. And as you can see, this is uh, quite a big map. Uh, as, I show, as I chose in the advanced uh, settings. So what we're going to do now is going to scout out a good place to build a base. You can see there are some ruins and uh, a couple of swamps that would make uh, good defensive barriers. Uh, we're also going to keep on lookout for um, steam geysers. Uh, we can do without them, but they're quite a, a nice uh, way to uh, harvest uh, electrical power. There, there's one. And just the one. Also, you can see we have some elk over here, which we will, we will, we will be hunting for food. There's another one. Where can it be? Over there, yes. Um, we, let's see, is there anywhere else? Oh, that's quite a lot, but there's, they're too, too far into the corner for us, for to be any good for us. And we want to kind of want to keep in the middle. Here's the one as well. Uh, because, as you can expect, people like enemies and stuff come from the corners. So yeah. I'm probably thinking that we... I'm thinking that we should probably, um, maybe... Perhaps maybe be able to use this one. Or maybe, like, hmm... But this is kind of an okay area. Could be using this one and just perhaps or decide. Mm. Probably doesn't matter that much. Let's take a look if we see some steel here, some that we can mine out. Uh, over here as well. Some a big ruin here that probably has some stuff that we can get. Um, so yeah. It's also kind of easily defensible, but I guess that this side looks and probably is a bit more defensible. Uh, so we should probably be looking into settling this area here. Then perhaps we can also might just grab this. There is a possibility for steam geysers inside these little hills, of course, but you don't have to, you shouldn't count on it. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do first is set up our uh, priority or work, our work priorities. Uh, we have this guy who's very good at social skills as well as shooting, but he's going to be doing mostly hauling and stuff uh, because, well, <laughs> there's not much to do for him otherwise. He will also be our first hunter. 
and later on he'll also perhaps clean. Oh yeah, this I remember this. Yeah, yeah. This she will, um, or I think it's oh, it's a he. Whatever. Uh, bite will uh, research to begin to begin with when there's not no, when there's not enough cooking to do. He'll he'll research, and uh, this is basically our laborer. He's gonna be mainly focused on mining and construction now. Because, well, yeah, we kind of, that's kind of what we need to do. We're gonna get all these resources you can see scattered around here and uh, put them in a stockpile where they might be of more use to us. Yep, uh, we can also take a look, over look at the factions that we are going to be seeing. Uh, I checked the map earlier, I couldn't find any tribes. Uh, but they they are probably somewhere around here uh, that I just missed. So always a, there's always a tribe somewhere uh, in generator in the world as well as uh, at least one town and uh, one pirate. So we see you see we have a lot of uh, other colonist towns and just one tribe and one uh, band of uh, pirates that will be attacking us. We can become enemies of these as well. You see they don't have a, a lot of... Uh, uh, they don't really think highly of us, so yeah. And some other statistics and stuff. But now let's get into the game. We've been talking too long. Uh, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna put up a stockpile. Uh, we should, could probably just mine through here. Yeah, we could do that. And then we could build build a wall or something. Yeah, that would probably be quite all right. Because we don't really need to just walk around this big old mountain just to get o just to get over here. Yeah, we'll do that. Mine out this part. And uh, whoop. And put a stockpile. Uh, put it like here, I guess, because we're also gonna keep our steel here, and here's some steel we can mine. So we, just, we could just like expand this into the uh, hill as we go along. And uh, we are also going to try and dig out a small room for our colonists to have some shelter, which we could probably just begin by doing this. And then, yeah, let's just build a small room out of this. We'll just have a stockpile outside to begin with. And uh, so could start by uh, putting down some growing zones. Uh, we want to be able to start farming pretty quickly. Oh yeah, also, let's see here, uh, we can put up wind turbines, and they're kind of neat actually, I like them, uh, but let's see, there's uh, two, three, four, five, I think it's, um, let's try this, mm. you can see the amount of uh, amount of free space that it needs. We'll put this here as a reminder. And that we just this is this is the spot where that, that we are going to keep uh, clear. So we can uh, get some easy power. All right. Um, well, I think potatoes would probably suit here this climate, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, also, a little tip is that because there's there is this you can, there is this um, 
this devil strand that's a fabric that you can grow it's very good but it takes so long to grow that it's usually not a good idea in this climate because there's not enough growing days for it to actually mature and become harvestable uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually grow some uh, this is some stuff that you make medicine from, herbal medicine, which will be useful. And we also are going to get another growing zone in there. And where are we going to grow some strawberries? And I think, oh yeah, also we should need some hops to grow to make beer, because you know, beer is life. You know, liquid bread and it's good for you and all that uh, and we could probably do with a little bit more food as well <laughs> I don't like this so I want it to be another color yes that's good enough we can grow some strawberries here for variation right so uh, this this is going to be our big start, and we're also uh, gonna get. Let's see. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, you are a careful shooter. Yes, so that means he gets the uh, rifle. This guy is middling, so you get the assault rifle, and this guy is the worst, but he's trigger happy, so he's gonna get the pistol. We're going to unforbid this stuff, so we can begin hauling. We don't really need the silver right now, but we can get the steel. And uh, we are going to, as soon as this guy is done, we're going to make him prioritize uh, mining this thing. Oh yeah, we're not going to build a white winter run just right, just, ready, just right now, it's, it's going to be fine. So as you can see, these guys are hauling. They're going to go all over, all around this place. Well, this guy is making a little shortcut. So uh, what we're going to do is actually going to unforbid this. And actually, as soon as... Yeah, we can just do like this, actually. Priotar's hauling. You know, pick these guy, pick these small meals up. Now they see. So now they see. Oh, oh, this little shortcut is here, so we can just go inside here. And uh, you can see, as you can see, he's making progress steadily. And these guys are hauling, and we're going to make. Uh, also, going to cut down some trees because. Um, Kinda need wood to make beds and stuff. I don't need to do that. And uh, I'm gonna cut down that tree, that tree, and um, we could be starting to build a kitchen or something here. I suppose that's actually some, something that we should get uh, get doing as quickly as possible. I believe. Uh, getting a kitchen and a freezer done because um, we want to be able to store the food that we make so it doesn't spoil. Oh, they yeah, already starting growing. That's that's nice. Yeah, it's not the not the beginning, not really the beginning of the uh, growing zone, but it still works. So yeah. All right. Let's see here, what shall we, where shall we put our stuff? I'm thinking, since we kind of, kind of want to go this way, we could start mining in and make a kitchen and then a freezer, like here, perhaps. And uh, we can have this as a kind of a secluded growing area with uh, houses here, making a little bit of a compound. Oh, colonists are idle. Uh, let's see. If we can't change that, we are going to let them mine as well, as well as cutting plants. Because, like I said, we need wood. And, um, yeah, let's see here. 
Mm. Yeah. Let's build a kitchen. Uh, the kitchen needs to be kind of large, uh, but not larger than. Well. But not lar large enough to actually, like, say. They can't be larger than than seven uh, squares in any direction because if they are, you need supports. Otherwise, you're gonna get cave-ins, which kind of suck because they can really mess up your little pawns. Right. Uh, we are also also going to make a corridor, and I believe we're gonna make a like kind of a rectangular uh, free freezer here uh, with kind of an airlock like this. And uh, get the maximum amount of space. I think this should be enough to begin with. We can also, uh, we're also going to make a cooler here, which will vent the hot, which will vent the hot air outside, direct, directly outside. So it can keep this place uh, in freezing temperatures, and uh, then we are going to build rooms. But we will we'll start with is the kitchen, and we're also going to plop down some sleeping spots. We're going to have to sleep in the rain because, uh, well, sorry. We haven't really gotten into making a proper room. Uh, we are go going to make uh, a door here, so it becomes an indoor uh, room uh, structure. I'm going to make, make it out of steel, because it's very possible that this that raiders will try and get in, raiders or crazed animals will try to get through here, and we got an abundance of steel at the moment. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Could also uh Let's have a look see, is there anything else we would like to get? Here are some other meals. It's uh Basically, every meal uh, feeds one colonist for one day, basically. And you start with quite a few. Right, and as for the name, I already got a suggestion in from uh, my friend. And uh, it sounded nice, and not ominous or foreboding or anything. And as you can see, uh, we are getting some alerts that we should probably be thinking about uh, getting our defenses up, which we will. I think we're actually going to go and build that uh, wind turbine so we get, and probably a battery or two, so we can get, uh, so we can actually defend ourselves and have the power to do so. wind turbines coming up and we're also going to have to create kind of a battery room yeah it's not producing that much at the moment but yep, there it went picks up let's see and we got a couple of visitors and uh, I think we're just gonna make a simple battery room, like here. To start with. Doesn't have to be big, just a couple of batteries. Five by five should be enough. I'm gonna put down some uh, power conduits. Alright. Yeah. 
There we go. We're also going to put in probably some solar uh, panels. Uh, I'm not sh can't remember how big they are at the moment. Let's have a look. Uh, quite big. I well, if we if we build them here, it, I don't get much space for growing. But we are probably going to be looking into uh, building sort of a uh, having a mix between the solar and uh, wind power to cover up uh, our need to cover all our needs. What, what was that? Oh, a squirrel has gone mad. That's, that's probably fine. Yeah. He's, he's attacked. Oh no, no. Come on. Oh. Just, you know, kill it. Beat it to death. It's a squirrel, you know. See how he's hanging out? How he's feeling? Yeah. And just, no. And it's dead. We should be looking into getting that patched up as quickly as we can. That's so, not, not to make it star. Uh, to make, not to make it scar. Uh, because if this if it scars, they kind of you know they get these uh, malices. I believe it's called in English penalties. So yeah, you know. I see he's getting sewn up, but yeah. Should be all right. Let's build a uh, door. Could probably make it out of wood, but hmm. yeah, let's make it out of wood instead. This doesn't need to be defended as much. Oh, <laughs> one of our guys didn't sleep last night. Poor guy. All right. Put in some batteries. Just the one, I think. Or two. Two should be enough. And a power conduit, that's right. So they are connected. See, we have a, a little bit of uh, power now, so we can power our doors, so we don't have to like shove them open. Uh, we can speed things up a little bit for them. Mm, can't see uh, where he went. All right, he decided to. Oh, oh, whatever. I should be... Yeah, I should turn off Skype next time. Forgot about that... Uh, that little thing popping up. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of a power surplus because we only have two doors that drain power, which is nice. Which means we could be... We should be building a turret to defend ourselves. I think maybe... Here should be fine. Yeah. Something like that. We just kinda need something, basically. Is to augment anything that would happen as well as keeping us safe from squirrels. Oh yeah, we also have a no way to trade them with the ships. Uh but that's not a big deal. Uh what we're we going to do is um, we're going to start making a uh, way to uh, a way to actually get uh, proper food and not just these kind of MREs to MRA yeah whatever we call you know meal ready to eat. This is basically just <laughs> military rations or whatever you want to call them. And we 
gonna build some power conduits to make sure that the stove has power. As well as making sure that the um, Uh, as well as making sure that uh, the doors to the fridge will have enough power. And uh, we're going to cut down some more trees because we need the wood now. Should be enough. If you get trees, also if you get trees in the way of uh, these, their output suffers. Oh, we're already filled up. Well, we fill, fill up our batteries. That's great. And Doug is hard work. Tyrone is having a snack and going straight up, straight off and being a lumberjack. And we are getting our freezer started, basically. You see here, there's a temperature tab, which has heaters, coolers, and vents, as well as industrial heaters. These last two are from the mod, Simplice Heating. It's not updated to Alpha uh, Alpha 9 yet, but it's, it, there's a hot fix from uh, from somebody in the in the thread uh, of, um, of the mod in the forums. Can't remember the guy. Can't remember the person's name. Oh, we have a random event. We have some extra herbal medicine. We're gonna have to grab this kind of quickly and before it spoils. As you can see, it's not too bad. It's also it's pretty cold outside, but we want to get that freezer up and running as soon as possible to make sure that we uh, get have a good have a good supply, basically. So we're going to build a cooler here, as you can see, very clearly. There's one end that's hot and one end that's cold. There we go. And it's almost done and these two are happily planting our crops, which we kind of need. You can see a bit of quick comparison here, uh, potatoes take like two days to grow, or growth days, while these take about uh, eight days until I believe. Oh, we're already at our end, at the end of the episode. So, thank you for uh, watching, and see you soon!